Hello. Yeah, it's it is not working. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a genie and it is not spraying water up through the water spurters. So I'm going to show you how to fix that uh, if you have that problem and it does happen intermediately. Sometimes it fixes itself. <laughs> All you got to do is just tell it you're going to fix it and then it'll start working. But I'm going to show you how you can adjust this sort of thing here. And uh, I'll, I'll get you going here in no time, cutting stones. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, the problem is still here. The spurters aren't working. So I've taken off the left cover. And this is the pump. And the way it works is that there is a belt. Uh, it's back here behind this wheel and it goes around the shaft here and up to here and that's what operates this. So if the belt is broken or if it slips, uh, then it will cause the spurters to not operate. So the first thing you want to do is turn off your machine and you're going to pull off all these wheels and check for a broken, broken belt. If it's a broken belt, you'll replace it. If the belt is still there, then what you need to do is you need to tighten up this. and this is held in place with a couple of screws uh, from the inside. So once you have those pretty tight, what you can do is you take a, a screwdriver here and you're gonna leverage this in here and you're gonna push up. I'm gonna be pushing this direction until just to leverage this up to get a little more tension. And you can see here I've put a tiny bit more tension, not much, just a tiny bit. And there we go. You don't want to do too much. That looks like that's about right. I got both spurters going now. They're not quite going as if they were new here. This is a really old machine. This is probably about a 40 year old Genie. So there we go. Okay, so that's a really easy fix. Uh, the opposite thing can happen is where if you turn on your Genie and you'll hear the motor groan and the wheels don't turn and nothing happens, just turn it right back off again. Because at that point, what you might have is a belt um, or pulley here for the uh, spurter that is too tight. And so it's putting too much tension on the shaft right here. And when that happens, it's gonna bind up the motor and the motor won't have quite enough initial torque to get all of this weight spinning in addition to the addition, uh, additional res uh, resistance provided by that belt. So if that's the case, then you're gonna to wanna to come in here and you wanna just push this down. You can either push it down or take a, a real light mallet and just you know tap it down lightly. Um, you're gonna do this while the machine is off and turn it back on and see if it starts up again. And if it starts up freely, then you know that you've got it in the right amount of tension. And again, just you're gonna adjust it back and forth until you get that belt just right so your machine turns on without a lot of resistance uh, and the, the spurters are also spurting. So that's just a follow up there. This is something that kind of happens in my shop from time to time because uh, you know this thing will wiggle loose over time and uh, it's a pretty, pretty normal problem to have but nothing you can't fix in about five minutes or less with just a screwdriver. Okay, so it's 2021. By now, we all kind of know what these things are. And the reason why I just want to bring this up as a last little safety point is, remember this machine here, it's putting a lot of uh, ground, grindings and water as fine particulates into the air. So if you're down there working in your cabs or on your jewelry, and you're breathing a lot of that in, it's pretty bad for your lungs over the long term. So do yourself a favor and put on a mask while you're wearing, while you're uh, working on this, this machine here and you'll save yourself a headache in 10 or 20 years. Anyways, that's it for today. This is Austin Moore and keep on cabin. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. I also want to thank Aventino Watches for sponsoring this video. If you're in the market for a new watch and you want something stylish and affordable, suggest checking them out. They have uh, nice watches at affordable prices. And there's a link in the description as well as a coupon code for 15% off of your purchase.
Our watches come with a one year warranty against defects and problems with craftsmanship, as well as a satisfaction guarantee. So if you don't like it, we send it back. Again, thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.